let me start this video off by saying that there's not a lot that excites me anymore. I'll be honest and say that there's it's not a lot. But doing a reaction to this man right here makes my day. It really does. So we're going to get into it in just a second. <laughs> Subscribe squad, it's another day, it's another dollar, and it's time for another freaking reaction because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you. You look at me and I look at you. That is what we do. Now, today we're going to be reacting to, which has really kind of become one of my favorite, favorite like comedians, Bill Burr. We're going to do, what? which one are we going to do? Let me look at it because there's so many. Movie racial stereotypes. Never seen it before and I'm so interested. I, If you haven't seen my reactions to Bill Burr for the past like week or so, you should check it out if you want to see somebody dying laughing. Like literally dying laughing. Now I just drank some water. I got this big old jug. I'm like, I'm going through the cleansing process. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for tour and all that. It was probably a bad idea to do that right before this video because I already know I'm about to be laughing because he be having me rolling. Like, he real talk be having me rolling. So, but before we get into that, I need you to go ahead and hit that like button. I need you to hit that sub button. I need you to hit that bell button because you can ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know every single time I drop a new video. Every single time. Also, we have a goal. We're trying to get to 10K subs. And we are on the way. Real talk, big dog. We're on the way. We're at 8,000 and something, something. I don't know where his number is going to be at when this video drops, but we're getting there. I swear we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That just came out of nowhere. But when we get to 10K subs, I'm going to drop the first remix on the channel. I'm gonna hit you guys with the bars. So, we got all that out the way. Honestly, I'm just really excited. Like, he really makes my day. Real talk. He's been making my day a lot. So, let's get into Bill Burr because he's just funny. And yeah, let's go. If it wants to load, it does. I don't know. I rented that movie, uh, Pride, recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team. I've seen that movie, so whatever he got to say, I already know it's about to be funny. Let's back it up. Oh my goodness. Pride recently. Have you guys seen that movie? Anybody see that? It's about the first all black swim team and the difficulties they had to go through being the first all black swim team. Let me ask you a question. How many of those white people are evil movies are they gonna make? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's all the way down to swimming. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to run out of white guilt, you know? <laughs> Those movies, they started off unbelievable. Started off with Roots, right? White Kill was at an all-time high. You can barely even watch it. I'm like, dude, I got it. My ancestors are evil. Okay, please. Please turn the channel, dude. Please turn the channel. They still hit them. Fuck! Turn the channel. This is gonna be on all week. Jesus Christ. Hey, real talk, how did y'all watch Roots, though? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're that age. So, mind you, I saw it as a kid because my parents showed us it. That thing was so painful to watch. And then they remade it. I'm like, oh. Oh my goodness. How did y'all watch that all week long? And as a white person, like, was y'all walking around, like, just feeling terrible? Like, <laughs> I really want to know. White people who came out, and white people who were from that generation when Roots came out and was on television all week. How did you feel, bro? Like, <laughs> and how did you respond? Please let me know. This is going to be on all week? Jesus Christ, on the channel. Then in the 80s, there was like a football movie. Then like Cuba Gooding wanted to be like a scuba diver. Remember that shit? <laughs> and now it's all the way down to swimming. And I got to admit, I don't think I give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm not trying to be a dick, but it, it's a recreational activity. <laughs> Plus, I've been in pools. There's been black people in the pool, you know. I never saw any white guy like trying to like fucking like prevent people <laughs> from getting into the pool. <laughs> so they're just like making this shit up. Oh. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not being a dick here either, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to clarify, you know, I just don't want anybody coming up to me after the show like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. Then... <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, but it's so funny though. This is like in America, we really don't think about that. Like, and I know he's cracking a joke, but like we don't think about like we have really have common access to things like that around the world aren't like normal. Like in third world countries and stuff like that, like they don't have just open and free swimming pools for people to swim in. So it's like food for thought. Like let's appreciate what we have. That part. Anybody coming up to me after the show, like, you know, I was thinking it, and then you fucking said it. And then... I'm not saying that I don't think black shit people should be allowed to put on some Speedos and go for a dip. I'm not saying that shit. I'm just saying these movies, like, the characters aren't even believable. Like, they always have to have, like, that, the, the over the top, uninhibited white racist character. You know? <laughs> You know that guy? He's a guy like, uh, he's supposed to represent all the white evil, you know? <laughs> he's like the dude they always have, like, screaming during the movie trailer. They'd be like, they were the first all-black swim team. Get out of the pool! <laughs> he's got, like, a big bang in his forehead. Just screaming shit, look, not even looking around, you know? <laughs> dude, it's ridiculous. Real racism is quiet. <laughs> it's subtle. People look around first. <laughs> to make sure that, you know, to make sure the coast is clear. There's disclaimers, like, dude, you know I'm not racist, but uh, these insert group name followed by fucked up conversation, right? That's how it goes down. Not just some guy just standing up there. I think I work at the pool. Are you approve of this? I work at the bank. Can I be fired immediately, please? One of the honest thing is in those movies, they're starting to give me a complex. You know, because anytime they do a movie about a group of people that thinks dumb shit about another group of people, it's always like white dudes. So it's like, are white dudes the only ones who think ignorant shit about other people, you know? <laughs> no Mexican guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like, is yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, I mean, he's true to a certain extent. We need to pick white people as like, we, well, I mean, okay, look, look. There are other people that are completely prejudiced. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Right? Of course, everybody has their own prejudices. But as far as, like, quote-unquote, the runners of the Americans, or I don't know why is that we, we, we depict white people in <laughs> such a fucking hateful way sometimes. Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. This guy ever walked up to somebody from India like, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that like, is he, what the fuck is that? White dudes, the only ones walking around. Well, you guys don't eat cows? What are you, a bunch of fags? Well, then why are you wearing sandals? You guys wearing sandals. You guys are fags. No, I'm just saying, you know, just balance the movies out a little bit. Like, just have some of the evil shit that black people say about white people, you know, when, when we're not around, you know? Like, like, well, what are some good examples, you know? <laughs> you know like, I was so inherently racist. I could point to the black person in the crowd. <laughs> like that one black person represents the thoughts of everybody. I'll be honest. Like growing up as the only black person in the classroom, like like during like the weeks that it was talking about slavery and civil rights, I swear all the white people used to look at me like. And why do I was like in honors classes and AP classes, and there really wasn't a lot of black people in the class. I was maybe one. Three max, like out of 40 students, three, if that. Most of the time I was the only one. So it's like, bro, I am not the bearer of all black people. I don't have the answers to how all black people feel about a certain topic. I really wish I did, but I don't. Like, <laughs> Some good examples, you know? You know, like, you know what I mean? You're hanging out, you had a rough day, you know? What are some of the classics? You know, what smell like wet dogs, right? <laughs> you got headlights or something like that, right? Just, just slip some of that shit in there. Get out of the pool. Wash your hand, motherfucker. Run the <laughs> Make it seem a little more. Dude, I'm just saying, it's all the way down to swimming. Where, where the fuck do you go from there? Would you like ping pong? <laughs> They were the first all black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddle. <laughs> 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 steal the paddles, bro. Steal the paddles. Lock up the the ping pong balls. No. <laughs> they were the first.
first all black ping pong team. They're gonna steal the paddle. Denzel Washington. Oh my God. My daughter's not playing ping pong. <laughs> Go out there and show the white man your hand, Pete, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not saying, uh, I don't know, it's always just weird bringing this shit up, but no, I'm not saying white people aren't evil either, because I know we're evil. I got that evil in me. And I do, I guess, so I can feel it. That's why I try to suppress it. I try to dress casual, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, man. I tried a suit on the other day. I felt it coming up. Like, fuck, man. I'm going to take care of some shit. Right? I'm going to start telling people what to do. I'm going to go blue the lake, blaming on my secretary, you know? <laughs> Dude, I don't like those movies when they make black and white people get along, man. Even those ones seem ridiculous, you know? Because it always has to be like some sort of lesson in those movies. Just like, you know, I never looked at it that way. <laughs> It's like that never happens, you know? Mm-hmm. Anytime I've ever hung out with a black dude, at no point during the evening has he, like, tried to, like, teach me how to dance. You know, <laughs> you know that interracial footloose moment they always have to have in those movies? And I never go to his neighborhood and, like, try to, like, save a school, you know? <laughs> how many times are they going to make that movie? You know that movie? The white person goes into the projects. Yeah. They just have to make a difference. That part. <laughs> You know, they just made that movie again with, uh, what was it, Hilary Swank? It's like, did you even need to go see it? <laughs> it's like, let me guess, she shows up and they don't accept her, right? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God, oh, I'm so weak. Oh, the white savior complex in film. So mind you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like, when they're, in order for the people of color to be successful a white person has to come in and make it like that is so bad bro like it's so bad it's in like so many films they're working on it now but like oh it used to be so bad it's like let me guess she shows up and they don't accept her right (laughs) and she goes home she cries to her effeminate boyfriend who's wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason right (laughs) (laughs) cooking for, but it's like it really is the truth they be the boyfriends be always cooking in a scene to her effeminate boyfriend is wearing sweatpants and he's cooking something for some reason right <laughs> and he convinces her he convinces her to give it one more chance <laughs> right so then she goes back down there she starts drawing out their inner beauty next thing you know they put a do-rag on her she starts fucking dancing <laughs> and it's just embarrassing <laughs> for all races involved for the love of god stop making that fucking movie <laughs> They made that movie. I would think I would know somebody white who actually did that shit. You know? <laughs> so, ah, fuck, yeah, he saves ghettos. That's what he does. You know? <laughs> I sit around, I watch Sports Center. You know, he's in the projects every weekend. He's writing his name on the blackboard. My name's Mr. Michael. All right, who threw that? <laughs> who threw that? It's just annoying after a while, you know? And it always fucking works out, too. Anytime that a white person goes down there, I want to make that, I want to see a movie where it doesn't work out. Like the white dude goes down there the first day, just gets the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> just leave it all negative. You can't fucking help these people, you know? You just go down there, you try to do something nice, I couldn't get a goddamn word in. It's a trade it all prescription. <laughs> He's wild, bro. Oh my gosh. He's wild. But, like, that's the thing, though. Like, in America, it's like, we have that so freaking bad. Like, all of our movies have to end well. They all do. I mean, I kind of like it, because I'm not even, I'm a sucker for a good, happy ending. Like, I really am. But at the same time, bro, like, it, that's not realistic to life. <laughs> Bye, y'all.